Local anesthesia is still the dentist's, dental hygienist's, and patient's primary functional relationship for pain control. In April of 2000, a new local anesthetic product for dental use was introduced to the United States market. This product, Articane, is a 4% solution containing 1 in 100,000 epinephrine, and although new in the United States, it has been a popular local anesthetic in Europe since 1976 and Canada since 1982. The following video is for demonstration purposes only and is not intended to infer any scientific research. The techniques demonstrated will be mandibular, buccal and lingual infiltration of first permanent mandibular molars with subsequent electronic pulp testing. As with any procedure in dentistry or medicine, patient selection is important. The following patient criteria should be used when estimating the greatest chance of success with this procedure. Thin individuals children or seniors, pH stable areas, thin cortical bone, vertical alveolar bone, root form should be visible, short roots, and adjacent missing teeth. Each patient will receive 1.7 cc's of Articane anesthetic solution involving approximately 1 cc infiltrated buccally and 0.7 cc's infiltrated lingually at the lingual mucogingival junction. Kelly has been seated comfortably in the supine position and is being prepared for the application of topical anesthetic. After the area is dried and isolated, the topical anesthesia will remain in place for between 60 to 90 seconds. With the cheek retracted, the injection will be initiated with the usual infiltrative technique as might be used for any other intraoral location. Luckily, approximately 1 cc of anesthetic solution will now be delivered over a time period of 30 to 60 seconds. This will shortly be followed by the lingual infiltration. The lingual infiltration will have the needle tip enter just apical to the mucogingival line and rest subcutaneously with the bevel facing the lingual alveolus at a depth of only 2 to 3 millimeters. It will be observed that there not only will be some blanching of tissue, but also some tissue expansion. The volume of this infiltration will be approximately 0.7 cc. The Kerr Vitality Scanner will deliver electric impulses to the anesthetized tooth on a scale from 0 to 80, with 50 being the mean assessment level for molars. The mean assessment level has been reached at just over 50 on the Kerr Vitality Scanner. That was the whole plan. 
The non-scientific assumption has been made that if infiltration local anesthesia could be successfully administered, as in the preceding demonstration, to anesthetize mandibular first permanent molars, then it might also be assumed that these techniques would be successful for any mandibular hard and soft tissue anterior to these areas. Although this video was produced solely for illustrative purposes and is not intended in any way to be a scientific investigation, it is the hope of the presenters that it may stimulate more formal investigation into the potential merits of mandibular local anesthesia infiltration techniques. This, combined with the myriad of other techniques now appearing in the dental industry, may, in the near future, force dentistry to address the question Will block anesthesia become obsolete?